And we've got a really nice photo here. This is a great one to, to analyze. Here, you'll notice foot on the tail again, front foot in the middle, hand can place on the board quite easily and head is over the nose. So he's perfectly aligned over the whole of his board. But he's got sort of like one point of contact or one piece of weight from the tail to the nose. So this hand here can really be sort of used as a, a bit of a measuring stick. So if you can't touch your board at some period through a turn, then you're essentially not giving your best chance at having the best balance over your board because the lower center you, the lower center of gravity you have to the board the more in control you are the more elevated especially in a in a tricky circumstance where it starts to get unstable it's harder to balance we all know when we're crouched and we're we're, we're feeling solid on our feet and we've got a, a good um squat on we're much stronger than if we were we're, we're totally elevated so that's sort of the still footage. Now, I know you're thinking too, you're thinking like, oh yeah, but this looks like it's a really good wave. It's four to six feet. This, these photos here are when they were surfing in the Olympics and it was very windy. It was very average surf. There were some solid waves, but I thought here what we could do is, I'm gonna show you just one video. And it's, it's in pretty average conditions. Sort of the stuff that you 